There's the covetous fool. And the story is told in Luke, the 12th chapter. Jesus told the story about a rich man in his barns. You remember he built his barns and he said he was going to retire because he'd made enough money now, probably going to go to Southern California, Florida, come here to Idaho to this beautiful place and retire. He'd made enough money. And he said, soul, take thine ease, drink and be merry. And that night he had a heart attack and when he was dying, there was a voice heard from heaven that said, Thou fool, this night thy soul is required of thee. And the scripture says, Jesus said, So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. You see, he tried to find happiness in the wrong place, money. He ignored the power of influence in that no man liveth unto himself. He must have had a family. He disregarded death. He had made no provision for eternity. He had provision for his retirement. How many men and women I know who have planned for retirement, planned everything, but they haven't prepared to die and they die shortly after they retire? It's amazing. I've thought about that. Some people announce their retirement. You read two or three weeks later that they drop dead of a heart attack. They thought they were going to have five or 10 or 15 or 20 years that they could just take it easy and enjoy life. But it doesn't always work out that way. You better be sure that you have prepared to meet God. Every person who is more concerned about getting some of this world's goods and leaving out the preparation for eternity is a fool. Or the person who spends their time in social climbing or having pleasure more than eternal things is a fool in the sight of God. If you're not concerned about your home in heaven, you're not concerned about the riches that will never fail, not concerned about laying up treasure where moth and rust doth not corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal, then you're a fool. If you'd ask this man, what is your name? Well, he'd say, my name's the rich man. Or I'm the prosperous man that you read about. Or I'm an eminent man. I'm a great man in the neighborhood. Or I'm a famous man. My name is in the paper all the time. Then ask God, Lord, what is this man's name? And the answer comes back, fool. He's a fool. That's his name. <laughs>